Hello everybody, Quine here, I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm showing you how to build a 4x2 automatic piston door, so it automatically opens when you walk up to it. So as you here are all the different blocks you're going to need. I'll have all of them in the description if you want to look there, but as you can see it's relatively cheap and it's not that difficult to build. So, let's do it. So first, Let's just grab some of these resources here and let's build our door first. So I'm just going to build a door just like this. It's pretty simple. You can, of course, expand upon this. This is very compact and easy to hide as there is very little above ground, which is nice for anyone who wants to build a cool door but also wants to be able to decorate around it. So, now we just need to build the activation system for the door. As you see, just like this, on this side, and on the other side, it's all the same, as you can see. Let's just put all the redstone dust on it. So, also I just realized there's actually eight glass that you need, not six. I don't know why I, I must have accidentally put six in there. So that, this is all that's going to be above ground, as you see. But of course, this does nothing right now, so we need to build below ground. So let's put a torch under that, and then a target block with the torch under that one. And you'll see later why we need a target block under that one. And then we need a piece of glass right here. Just like that. And now, let's dig underneath it to build the wiring. This is the main part of it. But, if you see how to build it, it's really not all that complicated. So, first let's just place some of this, just like that, this in here, block of redstone there, and I am going to be using my post extender that I made, it's, my videos are very, are a lot, are very easy to understand and build, is my goal for most of my videos. And this one is going to be quite easy to build. So, as you see, we just have this little bit here. Then let's put some redstone here. Let's get these out. So now we need to add our left turn here. And, oops, we need a comparator here. Also, I my book is already in here. As you see, it needs to have... 12 pages, no more, no less. So we just place it like this. So as you see, when we walk around, it activates. But if we jump, it doesn't activate. If we build, it doesn't activate, which is what we need. And then we're just going to hook this up like that. As you see, pretty simple stuff. And then we can just use some of the blocks we got from excavating this to put there. Repeaters on four ticks each, going all along to here. And as you see, if we just activate this, this is going to do that, activating these. And, you see, this is going to open it, and then after enough time, it will close. So, it is pretty simple, and it works from both sides. So, as you see, when we're walking up, it's going to open, and then it'll close behind us. And it works from the back as well, so as you see, when we're walking up, it's going to do that, and it's going to open. So, it's pretty easy to build. Only thing to keep in mind is, because the skulk sensor is needed to be in a central location to activate both from this side and this side when you're walking towards it, if you sprint to jump, it doesn't activate in time. So, as you see when it closes, if you sprint to jump, 
sometimes it won't activate in time depending on how you you're running because you it doesn't detect you jumping so as you see from this side because it's a little towards this side it might not make it to activate but as you see it is pretty simple cheap and very easy to hide as you see we just cover this up and as you will see you just you can cover this whole thing up there's no need to fret about cutting off redstone signals because it all works and you just have these sticking up which can be pretty easy to hide with just a bit of decoration on it but that is how you build it all right everybody i hope you enjoyed remember to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one but until then this is cool mine goodbye